Bruins and this one out to center ice and Pasternak with it trying to back off Chatfield. Off not shot, low drive, and Anderson will steer that one to the corner. And he gets the puck down low for Svechnikov. Dahan coming off of scoring his first ever goal at PNC Arena. And a swipe chance is kicked away by Omark. Dahan fires another one wide of the net. And he's going to stick to this. And then it'll come free. And play moved up the boards. Opportunity for Mark McLaughlin. And then a dangerous hit by A.J. Greer. As he throws Shane to the boards, and Pesci goes after Greer as a whack from Puck still in the corner. Brady Shea, thankfully he's okay. See, he hits from the side, does Greer. He doesn't hit numbers, but in my opinion, that's still boring. Jesper Foss tries to keep it in. He'll give the opportunity. Good play by Chatfield, sent across for Burns. In his 1300th game, he's shot right on, and Omar makes the save. He'll get to his own rebound. Aho in control, gets it back, Pesci shot up front, deflected, second chance for Caravine and wide. Now this puck's in the hurricane zone, Cogman will settle it down along the boards. And excellent work by Aho, and he's in on Olmark. Aho, for it, he scores! Sebastian Aho puts Carolina up, 1-0. Officially in the are you kidding me Cape Canaveral portion of the tour because did he ever launch himself up the ice Like he did in Dallas Wednesday for his 200th NHL goal. He created so much separation He had all the time in the world to focus on how I'm gonna beat the goaltender Jarvis he'll put on the brakes. He'll drop it back Pesci with it Winged off the net now. Oh with another chance in Olmark in the right place to make the save Jagger Burns, the Burns family, it's Brent Burns' 1300th game, flexing. And there's Burns right on cue and the redirect by Faust and Olmark. Just like he has all year, really good. Head up for Brent Burns, Stahl wins the draw. And you're creating a defensive zone decision, therefore breakdown that Faust gets to the... And that's right when Chatfield came up with that block I mentioned on a one-timer. And the second period is underway. Tied with Eric Stahl and shorthanded goals with 16. And now he's got a chance for 17. Aho in on Omar, and Omar makes the save. A bunch more. Aho settles this puck. It, it floats on him a little bit. With 15 seconds left, Jesper Foss was looking for a penalty behind the play. Bruins are playing on. Low drive save made by Anderson. That's a big save because it was right after Aho's breakaway. Now out front for Nason, chop shot, doesn't get through, but he'll collect the rebound. Back for Shea. Now looking for Svechnikov, across for Aho. Patience in Olmark! Outweights Aho, and then after that, Marchian coming after Aho. What a pass from Svechnikov. Aho took a second to settle it, and that gave Olmark all the time he needed. That puck had a lot of rise. And the penalty to Forbert for the Canes on the power play. And in comes a, a fellow lefty to Svechnikov, Paul Stastny here, and he'll take the draw. One back for Burns, he'll shovel it across. Quick opportunity by Natchez, rebound, they'll score! Stastny who comes in, buries the loose change, a power play goal! And the Canes go up 2-0, making Boston pay. You get a Wiley veteran, Jarvis, what a job he did to come up with puck possession. And Stastny, you knew he wouldn't become a spectator the way that he reads the tea leaves. After digging it in the face-off circle with the help from Jarvis, he gets to the net, and did he ever chip this thing beautifully? Back behind the net for Stastny. Stastny creates some room back for Pesci. His drive deflected, Omar with a save. Rebound chance by Martin again, another monstrous save by Omar. And then Jesper Faust and company almost come up with a big steal. And back the other way, it's the Bruins. Carlo again, this time he'll get this puck in. Deeper behind the Kings, head out in front for Hull. Anderson denies him once, twice, and shuts the door. Then he would take advantage, scoring less than a minute into overtime. Back-to-back -back overtime game winners for Martin Natchez, and it was mayhem in this building, that's for sure. Krejci comes after it, but it'll be played around for Ajo. 
Out of the zone it goes. Jarvis tried to knife it away from Carlo, and he does. Now Jarvis in on all. Mark Jarvis back and he scores! Oh, Seth Jarvis! Took a look. Phil Hall coming, kept it on the wall. Jarvis tips it to himself, then turns the puck over on Carlo. And what a move. I mean, he had Allmark, a probable Vezna winner at this point. He had him twisted and turned like a pretzel. He'll try to settle it. Spinning chance put on by Lindholm. Anderson makes the save. And rebound. And stick just knocked out of the hands of Ajo. And they'll score. Zaka taking advantage. And the former New Jersey Devil snipes that one past Anderson, and it's a 3-1 game. Well, that's a penalty. That's an absolute penalty. It's Lindholm, I believe, who knocked it out of his hands. Net front, no goalie interference. It's a Good net front from David Krejci. Now Terabyte inside of the net. Nifty pass by Nason. What a better play by Coyle to make sure it doesn't get to Ajo. Now Terabyte in with it. He waits his low shot. Blocked by Omar. 8.40 left here in the third. 3-1 Hurricanes lead over the Bruins. Now Svechnikov with it. He makes a move to the backhand to the forehand. And Omar with a pad save. Face off. Is pushed back from McAvoy. He drew the penalty. Now he hands it off for Pasternak. His low drive out for Marshawn. Rebound. Anderson with a save. And then he'll cover it up. Mr. Anderson tested on the power play and comes up with the answers. It was 1 0 in the second period. That was timely. This is timely. He's not able to control the initial shot. And it'll find Stahl along the boards, but Posternock will keep it in before the teams can clear. But Martin gets to it up to Stahl. Stahl pulling away from Posternock. The captain motoring in. Forehand is score! Exclamation point from Jordan Stahl. 4 1 Carolina. A shorthanded marker. Patrice Bergeron goes toe to toe in the face off circle with the Selkie finalist in Jordan Stahl. Stahl wins the draw and then out competes. Uses his big frame up the ice after Martinuk. How many good plays has Martinuk made shorthanded in the trenches? He'll flip the puck. It'll come over the blue line in four seconds. And this one's over. Put it in the books. Carolina downs the Bruins 4-1.